the final chapter of Challenge Cup quarter-final weekend is about to be written. And immediately, Tulo have it through Issa. Irish piling on the pressure. They've milked a penalty from this Toulon defence. They have a free shot at the try line. Jackson goes for the Hail Mary. Where's this one landing? Luke sees it out. And back he will go for that Irish penalty. To open the scoring for London Irish. And unsurprisingly, it's an opportunity he has taken. The game plan would not alter based on the opposition. And here they come. It's a green and white juggernaut, and it has steamrolled too low. The first blood goes to London Irish. Water, please. And Albert Tuesua plunges in for five points. But this London Irish team is brimming with guts right now. You just need to get more protection. If they play you, I'll watch it. Okay, thank you, sir. The locals ringing in his eardrums. This to make it a 10-point game. Some prop-on-prop prop action and some 10-on-10 10 10 action as Jackson takes Camponel high. It's pick your penalty at the moment. And it's all getting a little bit frayed. And there are angry backsides off seats inside the match. So we're playing an advantage for the high tackle against 10. You then react unacceptably, and you started the fracas, so you will go for, to the bin on a yellow card. During the fracas, you pull the hair of a player, so you will also go to the bin for a yellow card. We will restart the game with a penalty, because the hair pool is the most serious offence in that. OK? So, so Niff, two... This is not good news. You two? Calm your players down. Yes. This is not rugby, as the plaintiff cry from Charles Rolivant. Both players lose a man for 10. Shara for starting the fight, and Trevi for finishing it with a fistful of Ebene Zabeth's hair. You might think the yellow's a bit rough for Saran. But Louis Carbonel gets too low off the board. Even professional props Lines. would get things wrong in a split second. I just don't think it's as easy as all that, actually. That's early weight from Toulon. <laughs> I think, again, I think I don't necessarily agree with that. Oh, he's having a terrible game, that referee. Sorry. But I think Gigashvili's just piled in. And... In the dying embers of this first 40, he's given it a mighty thump. And it is a rousing end to the first half for Le Rouge et Noir. They were under the pump after Albert Tuisua's try and Paddy Jackson's kicks. It's been a hot-tempered affair in the south of France. It's London Irish who have the edge at the interval. They lead by 10 points to six. So to Adam Coleman, who has not moved at Sam Grove White's instruction. So a freebie for Toulon. Four change in binds. And in fact, he's going to bring play back. Oh, there must have been a knock-on in there. He's two from three today. Make that three from four. Too long, clawing their way back into this inch by inch. So Crevy and Serrat back with us. 15 on 15 once again. Clean line out ball for the Exiles. And Jackson, <laughs> delicate ball for Rona. And a brilliant ball too for Juan Martin Gonzalez. But too long over the ball. Well, this time it's too long who come up with a big steal. And it's opened up for Duprea, basketball style to Paya Awa. Just forces it to forward. Villiers, and it did go forwards. Forward. And Jackson goes long, lands it on Luke. And Villiers with him, wanted to duck into the tackles. And it's a fabulous steal on the ground. Irish have it back. Chip and chase down the short side is a good one. And Carbonell is in trouble, and then he is caught high. Juan Martin Gonzalez is in trouble. It's yellow. Straight to the pocket went Sam Grove White. And Juan Martin Gonzalez goes off for 10. Some Georgian muscle. Alain Nuesi. Big double hit, and it had to be on a man of his stature. This is Tolofua. Ale Tulo is the echoing cry around the mile. Luke does well to gather that ball from Surat. 
Here they come again, Olivo the captain. Carbonell, Tolofua, plowing a lone furrow, but plowing ahead nonetheless. Gigashvili, grappled to ground by Goodrick Clark. The phase is mounting. The pressure valve being cracked up by the home side. Oh, Oliver stolen through! And the captain cleaves open the Irish fringe defence. There he is, number seven. Well, keep your eye on his right foot. Yeah, that ball's in front of his foot. I think we're good to go. Yep, he's behind. Yeah, stick with your options. I'm with you, so. Calbonel bangs over the conversion. What a game for him, what a future he has. Parker, the show and the goal. Advantage. More of a show and smash. But Irish have drawn the penalty. Phipps. Jackson from straight in front. Silences. The jeers and the boos and the whistles. Semi-final at stake. Binds. Set. The mile bubbles to a crescendo. An Irish in fringe. A hush falls around Stad Mayall. And you couldn't kick it any straighter. Yes, please. Cornish again from a standing start. Energy sapping stuff, this. Yes. And they're a long way out, aren't they? There's 60 metres to the two long line. They're not going to. Let's go! Got to get a bit of energy into this kick chase now. It's Rona who's after it. As well, Joseph and Rona. Yeah. Joseph got the touch. And two long have opted to go quickly. They're raising the tempo. Yaba Villiers stabs it up to the 22. It was a horrible ball to deal with. And Phipps couldn't deal with it. Villiers ransacks him, and away come the exiles. It's Arundel scything through on his own. This is remarkable. What a break from Arundel. Has he got the legs to go all the way? Oh, it's astonishing. A try to end all tries. The birth of a star on the European stage. London Irish down on the canvas. Henry Arundel. In rugby terms, I don't care if he's a rookie. This is world class. There just ain't many players in the world could have done that, would have done that. Absolutely sensational. Yeah, we're trying to Let's just it. enjoy this again. Let's have a look at that. Henry Arundel, uh, just the footwork. I mean, he's gone. It's not 100 meters, is it? It's about 97. How's his nerve? No. He's pushed it just wide. It looks like they're getting the job done and grinding it out, which is... The best teams don't always look great, but they do One win. Scrum will do it. And the mile erupts. Tulo have won a quarter-final slugfest. Charles Olivon, a try scorer, steering his troops into the semi-finals where Saracens will be their visitors on the Côte d'Azur in a week's time. London Irish so close, oh so very close. A cracking try that we will remember for an age through Henry Arundel. Brought them back within a point, but it is Toulon who advanced to the semis.